right, we're going to fire an arrow straight into the air. Look out. We're going to fire it so it reaches its highest point in three seconds. So that arrow would have been launched upward like that with some initial speed. And then it ascends. Bum, 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 bum. And it reaches some point there where its final speed is. It's run out of gas. So what would its final speed be? That's right. Zero meters per second. And it took, it takes an elapsed time of three seconds for that to occur. The first question is, why does it, why does its velocity change? What's the sign on this velocity change? Think about that. It goes from sign, let's draw a little graph. It goes from, this is velocity versus time. If we do this, it starts off as, oh, its velocity is up, it's positive, and then it goes to zero. So we go from some positive value down here sometime later to zero. The acceleration, ooh, is negative. And if you recall, it's because of gravity. So the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second, second squared. You get the idea. So the, so the question is, what was its velocity when it was fired? What is V naught? We want to solve for that. We know V equals V naught plus AT. So we know V is zero, the final speed. The acceleration is 9.8. The time is three. We want to solve this equation for V naught. Try that one more time. We're going to solve this equation for v naught. v naught has at added to it. What's the opposite of adding? It's subtracting. So I'm going to take away at from both sides. And when we do this, positive at, acceleration times time will cancel negative. And the initial speed would have been v, the final speed, minus a times t. So the initial speed is equal to the ending speed for this interval, zero meters per second, minus, woo, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, times the time, three seconds, cancel, cancel, negative, negative is a positive, negative 9.8 times 3 is about 30 meters per second but we can be more precise positive 29.4 meters per second and again what does the positive sign or the lack of sign it indicates that it is positive it means that that arrow was fired up at that point in time answer this question with what velocity would it if we were to continue this journey, boop, and then come back down, with what velocity would it come back down? What goes up must come down. If it goes up with positive 29.4, it would come back with, oh, that's right, negative 29.4. If it takes three seconds to go up, what goes up must come down. It will come back to the Earth in, that's right, six seconds. Move on to the next problem.